Dr. Shainriti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to speak today in support of the Prime Minister's statement and to support the clear evidence for a stable and growing economy. The Prime Minister's statement led off with, quote, the government's program of responsible economic and fiscal management is delivering benefits for New Zealanders, unquote. With reference to the regions, the statement read, this includes the regional growth program, working with local communities to develop and implement economic action plans. Mr Speaker, this time last week, Ministers Joyce, Bridges, Barry and Guy attended a Northland Regional Action Plan progress meeting in the far north. It was an opportunity to review a year of progress under the Regional Action Plan. And I want to talk to some of the highlights that are actually outcomes supporting the Prime Minister's statement. Firstly, the biggest economic driver for Northland is the 700 million road of national significance from Puhoi to Wellsford. The groundbreaking ceremony before Christmas was welcomed by Northlanders as a start to this important corridor joining Northland and the economic powerhouse that is Auckland. However, Northlanders don't need to wait for the RONs to reach Whangarei to see roading improvements. They can see the investment in roading right now, today, as they enter the Whangarei electorate, and see the multi-million dollar road safety improvements being built on top of the Bren Derwins. And while you're there at the top of the Bren Derwins and look out over Bren Bay, what do you see? Well, you see the majestic visage that is Bren Bay, One Tree Point, Marsden, Ruakaka, Waipu. But look closer and you'll actually see something else. Because what you're also looking at is what Infometrics recently announced as a regional economic hotspot. Infrastructure investment supports economies, which is supporting Northland. A second action plan is the government's ongoing commitment to the Hundavasa Arts Centre. Hundavasa was proudly announced by Minister Joyce a year ago and has been supported by Ministers Barry and Ministers Bennett during 2016 and was strongly supported by Minister Bridges last week as the new Minister for Economic Development. They all get what the community gets. The important annual economic impact of $22 million per year that Hundavasa will bring to the north. I want to especially note here the ongoing guidance and support from Minister Barry on this project. Now, I've highlighted two progress items, but the nature of the economic upturn in Northland also supports the government's ongoing drive to a diversified economy. A Northland snapshot would show kiwifruit and avocado industries are doing well, and log prices across Northport are strong. Manufacturing is doing well, with Marsden Refining taking on new operators in a workforce that is now close to 500 people. Cullum Engineering, the Whangarei-based steel manufacturing joint venture for the Auckland Convention Centre, is taking on more staff. And if you go into central city Whangarei today and to pack and save and look across the road, you'll see another new commercial development being built and a sign from Steve Bowling Construction saying, work is wanted. Construction is doing well in Whangarei. New jobs for residential and commercial projects, as well as huge infrastructure projects, such as the recently completed million dollar roundabout at Kensington, led by AJ and Annie Robinson, a local firm from Robinson's Ashfelts. Tourism is a billion dollar industry for Northland and is a discussion all on its own and for another time. But highlights include the recent NZTA region specific targeting of Melbourne people to Northland. And of course, the superb current Air New Zealand safety video shot around Paihia in the Hokianga. On a related matter, however, supporting tourism in Northland requires a regional air service that has a schedule that meets the needs of the travel community and is reasonable and reliable. And I challenge Air New Zealand to up their game in Whangarei and Kirikiri. The real extent and depth of diversification of the Northland economy can be seen of the launch of the Hawaii cable at Mungafai before Christmas, providing redundancy to New Zealand's sole operator. New people have come to Whangarei. New people bring their own microeconomy. They each spend on average $65,000 per year of household expenditure, and that money goes through the economy. They buy clothes, food, petrol, transport, and housing, and that all supports the local economy. Whangarei is growing, people are coming to Whangarei. Just recently, Niwa announced their findings for 2016, and Whangarei was the second warmest city in New Zealand last year. Mr Speaker, the people of Whangarei are looking for more than just the turnaround that they are seeing. They don't just want to look, they want to find. And in this Prime Minister's statement, they are finding a roadmap that will guide and fulfil their aspirations. Thank you.